Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our Mondrak and Urbrask's Forge deck. And basically, we just want to be taking advantage of this powerful two generic and red artifact. Uh, with at the beginning of combat on your turn, you put an oil counter on it, and then you create an X1 Phyrexian Horror with Trample and Haste, and you can sacrifice the token at the beginning of the next end step. So basically, you just want to get this down as early as possible, and hopefully curb into a Mondrak, and then just start beating your opponents to death with, you know, 1-1s, one and 2-1s, two and 3-1s, and 4-1s. And then, once you have some LSL cores and fronds on the field, you'll be draining your opponents and gaining life to uh, further close the distance between your life total and your opponents. We're going to be running a couple other powerful cards in here to help this a little bit goofy deck out with Blood Tie the Harvesters, Wedding Announcements, Shelter the Apocalypse, and Invasion of Tolvada for some reanimation. Uh, for the removal package, we're running a couple cutdowns and three go for the throats. And I did forget to mention, we do have the Riveteer Requisitioner as a way to ramp out early Mondrax, or sometimes uh, late game when he dies, you can blitz him. Perhaps when you have the Mondrak on the field, you can create double treasures um, when he dies, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, this deck is super fun and very aggressive. So if you guys are excited to see this on the ladder, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I've been uploading to YouTube every single day for the past six months, and I'm around 47% of the way towards getting partnered, so any help on this journey is really appreciated. With all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. Um, I mean, the hand is a little weak, we don't have white sources for the Mondrak, but we do have Requisitioner into Forge, hopefully into Shelly, which is pretty solid. I think we keep it. Let's get the first Requisitioner down. And we drew a second one, so if we don't hit a land, we'll at least have something to do. Ouch. Hmm. I think we just attack for three here. And we'll play the other one. Sunset Revelry. Let's play the Forge. We'll get in for one. And let's go with Vron. opponent takes two. We sacrifice it, trigger the Vron, and we will pass. The sunfall there is brutal. Okay, well, let's go Urbrask's Forge. Let's get Mondrak down. And they're gonna make disappear that. And we'll get in. And they're gonna block the incubator. We'll take a big hit there, and let's just keep going with Mondrak. And dissipate. And we'll 
won't get in for five. We'll go with the invasion. We get back Mondrak. We'll make 12 power worth of Phyrexian Horrors and send them at the opponent. I've learned much during my travel. They can exile one of them. And they block the other. Sunset Revelry. And they plus the Emperor. And back to us. Well, let's go to combat. And we'll 14 them. down to four. Let's play the wedding announcement. And we will pass. My opponent can make a Mirex Might. We draw. The Celestis. And they make a Samurai. go for the throat. We'll go to combat. In for 16. And another emperor. Okay. So they can exile one of them, go up to six, take eight. That's fine. GG's. Not too bad. Crazy. <laughs> the forge actually got us there. <laughs> Pretty strong when you leave them alone for eight turns. <laughs> Alrighty, next game. Uh, the hand looks alright. We got a requisitioner into maybe a turn three Shelly. So let's keep it. Positioner down. And would you like to use removal on this guy? Cool. We'll make our treasure and we pass. And graveyard trespasser. Well, that's a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Let's get the wedding announcements going. They eat their cut down, and we'll take three. We'll attack for one. We'll send the message. And we'll play both of these harvesters. We will pass, and we make another token. All of the opponent's removal out of the hand before we get the Shelly down. And even if they have another, we can invade Tolbata to get it back. <laughs> Think we just take it. And a Lily. Alright. Do they plus or minus?
Little sack token. And back to us. Second Shelly is not bad. Let's take out Lily. Fine. I and we'll go with Sheldred. We'll pass and make another token. And cruelty of Gix. Well, that's a little annoying. I can take out one of these Shellies. And they're gonna exile it. Okay. We'll take our block. Let's go to combat. And we're just gonna crack in with everybody. We'll pass. We can hold open the Takanuma. And they're gonna search their library for a card and lose three life. And Shelly of their own. Well, easily dealt with with Go for the Throat. Let's channel. And we'll just take the Mondrak. And go for the Throat. Yep, GG's. Alrighty, next game. Um, I mean, I don't really think this hand is keepable, but we're gonna try it out. It's gonna be really slow for on the draw. If the opponent's gonna be playing any sort of aggressive strategy, we're gonna get whacked. Well, yep, there's a Phoenix chick. We'll pass, and we'll hold open the goat for the throat. We'll take two. And I think... Hmm, do we just go with the forge, or do we go with Shell... Or not Shelly, Vron. I think the forge is a little bit better. It means we are unfortunately going to be taking some damage, but I think Vron would just die to either a play with fire or a lightning strike. I want to get Shelly down, so she can try and absorb all of those burn spells, and then we reanimate with the invasion. And there's a lightning strike. And another. Well, that was eight points of burn that we took away from the face. We'll take it. Hopefully we hit another land next turn. And we can reanimate the invasion. Or reanimate with the invasion, I mean. Let's go with Vron. In for three. We sacrifice, and we gain some life. And Kamano faces Kakazon. And another two from the chick. Let's go with the invasion. And bring back Shelly. And we can attack down the invasion, and we'll make a spirit afterwards. Yup. GG's. Alrighty, next game. Um, I mean, Ellis Core and Triple Wedding Announcement. Yeah, that's definitely a keep. Let's get our Ellis down. 
And are we going to be going against Mono Green or Enchantments? Probably Enchantments. Yep, and there's a dog. Let's attack. And Wedding Announcement 1. And they're going to borrow time on the wedding announcement. Okay. We'll block. And let's go with the next. Another dog. And they're going to save the announcement. Okay. Kind of rude. Oh, well, we don't run basics here. Let's play the announcement. And attack. I want to draw some cards. Tribute to the World Tree. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty good enchantment. We'll take a ping. Let's channel. And we will draw. Jukai Naturalist. They're going to put some counters on it. And a Catilda. No attacks, and back to us. I think we just kill the naturalist. Let's attack for two. We'll play a land, make another token, and flip the announcement. extra counters on the Catilda. But they instead put the counter on the Calyx, which means they draw off the Tribute. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty rough. Catilda with the Audacity. Oh, and Michiko's Reign of Truth. Well, I think we're just about dead here. <laughs> That's insane. Down to three, and opponent is up to 26. <laughs> they can make another borrowed time. And yeah, that's pretty much all she wrote. GG's. Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.